In the early hours of August 3rd, 2032, an elite Russian assault team quietly slips through a forest deep inside the NATO-allied country of Estonia. Their target, the Amari Lenubas Air Force Base, located approximately 35 kilometers southwest of the Estonian capital of Tallinn. The lightly defended airbase proves no match for the surprise Russian attack. Within moments, the defenders of the airbase are overrun. Outside communications are cut and the control tower seized. Minutes later, four civilian passenger jets off the Baltic coast suddenly break contact with their controllers, descend and land at the airbase. Russian forces quickly disembark, paving the way for the tens of thousands of forces soon to follow from air, sea and land. The invasion of the Baltics has begun. And with it, World War III. Much like Germany's downfall after World War I, Russia found itself politically, economically and militarily devastated following its failed attempt to seize Ukraine in 2022. The Russian public ached for new leadership and a return to the glory days back when the Soviet Union was a superpower feared by countries across the globe. They would receive that leadership through a charismatic new firebrand Russian president, Dmitry Kozak, who took power in 2026. In six short years, Kozak gutted and reorganized the military, pouring billions into smaller, more agile and well-trained conventional fighting forces. But time was not on Kozak's side. With an unsustainable military budget built on an anemic, isolated economy and a fickle, anxious populace, Kozak knew that his vision of a new empire must be implemented soon. Support of his vision came from the East. Seeking his legacy, Premier Liu Hao of China formed an alliance with Russian President Kozak. Together, they would devise a secret coordinated military plan designed to dominate Europe, Asia, and the shipping lanes critical to global trade. It was called Operation Resurgence. It was to begin in Europe with a lightning Russian invasion of the Baltic countries of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, reclaiming those countries lost to Russia following the fall of the Soviet Union. Seizing them would provide a critical land bridge from Russia to Kaliningrad, granting Russia's navy command of much of the Baltic Sea and the Russian army a direct doorway into Western Europe. Kozak and Howe were fully aware that the invasion would trigger a massive NATO military response. In fact, they counted on it, as once NATO became firmly mobilized, focused and committed to a war against Russia in Europe, China would then initiate the second phase of Operation Resurgence, the invasion of Taiwan. Like they had nearly a century before during World War II, could the United States and its allies once again battle and win a two-front war, a half a world apart? Or through failure, miscalculation or insanity, would it all come to an end in the blinding flash of nuclear annihilation? The world was about to find out.